good game last week against Saracens and we were top of the league and you come against a side that are fighting for their lives so it's never going to be easy. For our first 15-20 minutes we started off on fire and we had total control of the game and then Worcester got into the game and I think we spent the next 30 minutes in our own 22. It just shows the manner of where we're at really, we managed to stave them out in the first half and that defence in the last five minutes of that first half, we was the fact that one as the game really. In the second half I just think the scrum told we managed to uh, get some dominance there. Uh, lots of things to still work on, the line out wasn't good for it, which is uncommon for us really. Um, and uh, you know, thoroughly uh, delighted with the result. Would I not quite old? Fantastic, 200 beer and scored a try. Tried to get himself on the back of another mall to try and get another one, but <laughs> the lads were keeping him away from that. No, great, great servant to the game and you know, he keeps going on and on. But you were instrumental times in him at the start of his career as well. I mean, he's, he's established himself as a real sale legend now, I guess, hasn't he? Well, yeah, I mean, he's got 50-odd caps for England as well, you know. He's been a great ambassador for um, for English sport, you know. If you look at if Wayne Rooney can get 300,000 quid a week, then what's Mark Greater worth to a club? <laughs> and how important has he been to you since you came back three years ago, you know, with his experience and leadership and his influence on and off the field? Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a great, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a leader by example in everything he does, you know, and it's great for the young lads, but, you know, we've got a dozen of them or so at the moment. We've got a lot of lads who are around 29, 30, 31 who, 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 who give a about the club. Your fifth straight win against Worcester this season, but was this the most important in lots of ways, given the running towards the end of the season, and what you want to achieve? Yeah, well, I think, you know, we, it, for, for a, side, a club like Sale, for us to be mid-table, pushing for a top six spot is good, and it puts the wind up the other big sides who have to come up north to us. So, you know, if we can put in performances like we did um, last week against Saracens, no one will look forward to coming up north. The big, the big job in hand for us is Wasp next week away. You know, we need to get some out of that game and we've had a good uh, a good start to 2014. I was going to say, you've got 10 points so far out of this block of four. I mean, another good performance last week. Would that be above your expectations? No, I think, to be honest, the team set the expectations in the summer and uh, we want to be in whatever is the Heineken Cup equivalent next year and to do that we need to be sixth. What news on to Peel? It's just a, a groin strain, so uh, precautionary really, so um, uh, we, we want to look after him and pass him on to Bristol in good nick. Well, another thing, I mean, when you bring the bench on, I mean, you've got options all over the place at the moment, haven't you? Yeah, we got, to be honest, we, we put them on because we've got three scores in front and it does become a bit disjointed, so I'm probably a bit disappointed with myself the way I put them on really. But overall, you've got to be pleased with the way you, and bouncing back life after last week as well. Yeah, no, re re really pleased, and we'll find a pub in Worcester to watch the second half of the game.